Yo, what's up everybody? Warlock here. Welcome back to the channel, guys. Today we're checking out Loba's first quest. We got all the deets right here in this video. Stay tuned. Let's check it out. Quest. Okay, we finally got it. If you guys don't know, you had to collect treasure chests one each and every day or a treasure pack. Okay, and then we had to wait. It said that once you collect five packs over here on the screen that you know your hunt can begin but once you collected all five since this happens once a week we had to wait till they unlocked it for uh today and it finally happened so we're going to check this thing out right now so the hunt number one first piece follow loba's instructions to uncover the first artifact play we're going to check this thing out man we're going to play it we're going to play the first quest line it's going to be insane now this is supposed to be pve guys so I hope that uh, it turns out to be something really, really cool. So we're going to check this thing out. Now, we've read the first the first like intro with all the, the kind of backstory of Loba's master plan to get all these artifacts. So now we're playing the PvE. There should be no enemies that we should be fighting. This should be just straight PvE. But we're going to get in here and check this stuff out. Hopefully, we complete it and we can get the, uh, the armor. So it's just PvE. So you get to pick somebody. Uh, I'm gonna pick Bang. It doesn't really matter. Everybody's is the same. So you can queue up with two other people, but we're just gonna go into this solo. We can't be Revenant or Loba. They're blacked out. It's kind of insane. I wonder if you need a team to do this, but if not, we should be okay. The idea here is to go through this quest and survive. The first piece, follow Loba's instructions to uncover the first artifact. This is the spot. Watch your back and follow your marker to find the first piece of the artifact. Okay. Uh, all right. So we got a P2020 and a Mozambique. I wonder if- piece. Get to the extraction point. All right, I mean, I wonder, so we got to complete, we got a timer, guys. We got eight minutes to complete it. Oh, what's this? Proceed cautiously. We weren't alone here. Look at this. Look at that monster. Dig up the hidden artifact. Oh, shit. Oh, boy. Oh, crap, dude. Ooh, man, those things are, uh, they're a little scary, dude. Okay. All right, we're gonna, yes, 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 there we go. That should help us a lot. The hammer point should help us a lot with this. I wonder if we can get any other guns, or is this all we get? I guess this is all we get, because they're giving us the decked out hammer points, dude. All right. Ooh, that's nasty. Okay, so these do a lot, man. We just gotta make sure. <sighs> Holy crap, man. These things are scary, dude. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, hey, buddy. Okay, they're all dead. We gotta we got keep up the... Uh... We need the ammo. Wow, that's like a one hitter quitter right there, dude. We need all the ammo. We gotta grab this armor. We still got six minutes. Uh shoot, shoot, shoot. I kinda want the yeah, I kinda want this, dude. Um, we can drop that now. Okay, we're good. I don't know if I should just be like maxing out on all this, you know what I mean? So five minutes, five minutes. Well, right now I can tell you that the, the hammer points. Oh, let's see how much this does. 91. 78. All right, so begin artifact extraction, deploying drill. So now I assume we, we just gotta, we gotta defend it. Remain vigilant. The noise will attract the local wildlife. I'm counting on this, dude. 
Holy shnika. I am super nervous. Oh boy, they're coming. Reload, reload, reload. Okay, two down. Climb back up. Ooh, I got him out of the air, dude. So far, so good. Oh God, they're coming in from different directions. Okay, so we got the artifact. Now we just gotta get out. Oh boy, I'm coming. Oh my god, dude. Reload. Oh boy. Oh, oh my god. Oh crap. Dude, are you kidding me? Dude. I don't even think I have time to pop a shield bat. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Oh my God, dude. Holy crap, chat. Oh, oh we made it. Success, let's go. Whoo, whoo. Dude, that's kind of crazy, man. That is kind of crazy. First artifact is ours. Let's go. Holy crap, guys. Whew. Those things were freaking scary, man. Those things were scary. Holy schneiza. Guys, what the heck, man? That was a lot of fun, man. So, okay. So, we killed almost 40 of those things we survived recovered the artifact and evac in time we got an epic weapon charm and artifact piece the gemini xg core and then story chapter one the cranky cranky clown chapter one the cranky clown so we had this meeting place in the labra the labari the place where you go to the bathroom the cause of the Paradise Lounge, we don't do private rooms. Here we believe in being social, connecting with people, coming together as humans. Look, the point is, I'm cranky. You're in a bad mood. Yeah? Well, what? Yeah? No, no, I'm not. What do you know? <laughs> More than you think. Here it comes 189 reasons why we all, we, why all the different versions of myself are bummed out. I say, as I hand wraith her apple teeny, I know, right? I would totally make fun of her too, but I saw what happened to the last guy and I like the idea of having kids one day, so I'll stick to my poker face, thanks. <laughs> Only need one reason, it bothers you that Loba knows your mom's secret. And that's when it hits me. It bothers me that Loba knows my mom's secret. She knew about my parents too. More than that, she knows how I feel about them and I don't go spreading that. I think she's got dirt on all of us. She is similarly aware of the allegations against me all patently false and absurd of course that these cont these cretins continue to mistake me for a corpse and for a corpse is preposterous and what's she gonna do for me huh help me run faster eh she can't do that bunch of marks all of you bangalore says as she spits onto the floor i that someone will have to clean later she bats her eyelashes and you all fall in line, advancing into unknown territories to obtain some trinket. We don't even know what this hunk of junk is. I've been studying it and it looks like it's encasing a matrix, but it needs to have the other half to fully. That wasn't a question. The only reason I went to that awful place was to make sure none of you ended up in a body bag or as Caustic's latest experiment. No, instead we get to be Loba's little errand boys. I don't know about all of you, but I didn't sign up to take orders from some two-bit thief when I signed my Legends contract. If the IMC was still running the show, she'd be halfway to the break by now. 0500. So what's the plan? We walk away? Then we're more in the dark than before. For now, follow her lead, but we do know our own private reconnaissance. She's not telling us everything. I overheard her talking to someone named Yoko 
at Hammond Robotics about a meeting Loba had with her higher ups there. Yo, I've got a date with a girl named Yoko from Emma. I'm thinking we know each other. Wow, Goom, the room got real quiet after that one. And Lifeline's about two decibels too high when she says, A date? Guan, which, uh, <laughs> does this girl know what she's getting herself into? Bangalore cuts in, which is annoying, but hi, you had your turn, and we want to see Lifeline kick Octane's butt now. But sure, Bangalore, your thing is important too, I guess. Octane, you know this girl? She asked if I wanted to get a drink. I was thirsty and said, sure, but she meant tomorrow. I mean, I'll be thirsty tomorrow too. But I didn't, I don't know, man. She wants me to wait for things. Like, wait, just around? You're not going on this date. Girl doesn't deserve attitude like that. Yes, he is going. Never turn a good intel down. And right now, your boy's the only way to get our hands on some. Octane, we need you to find out what this meeting between Loba and Hammond was all about. And I need proof so she can't deny the whole thing. Anything they've got. Yeah, you're gonna let this poor girl sit through the torture of this date for intel? She's tortured? I have to wear pants. <laughs> I look to Wraith, who's watching Octane get bounced back and forth between Bang and Lifeline like a ping pong ball. She turns to me, shaking her head, and you think I'm intense. You know better than to answer the question, so I say, I know better than to answer the question. But Wraith has a point. I've never seen Bang worked up like this. If I were Lobo Andrade, I'd be shaking in my thigh highs, because right now I know two things. Bang won't stop until she sent Loba packing. And tonight... And nice like this, totally willing why I buy her. Next chapter. Next chapter, the detached chaperone. All right, guys. That's going to do it for the first quest line, the first piece. We checked out the prologue, the first piece. This is insane. I don't know what's going to happen. I honestly don't. I don't know what's going on with uh, the artifact. We don't know much. The, the little cool little PVE quest was actually really cool. I enjoy something different. Uh, I think Apex Legends should definitely keep doing this. Now, this is a once a week thing. So I've collected the two packs. So I hope that if I collect three more, it'll be available. But it does say six days away. So it's kind of like if you miss a day, you can still have time. They give you two extra days per week to get all the treasure packs to unlock it. But so far, man, that was insane. I can't wait to see the next one. Tell me, guys. Let me know what you guys down uh, think down in the comments about this whole quest line and what happened uh, in this second part uh, with the cranky clown. Let me know what you guys think down in the comment section. If you did enjoy this video, hit that like button. If you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. Turn on post notification bell so you guys don't miss out on future Apex Legends videos like this one. And for me, Warlug, as always, guys, stay gaming. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.